Hey guys, I'm Jerusha. You're watching Jerusha Katua TV. Oh, I just really yelled at a little bit crazy this afternoon. I've eaten too many TV treats, TV sweets, TV biscuits. I forgot what they're called. And it's kind of late in the afternoon. I am coming to you with a sunglasses collection. Ding! I don't have very many sunglasses. Mm -mm. I really only have what I've got and I use them. I pretty much use all of them, which is really good. Uh, which I always say about collections that it's really important to kind of use the whole collection rather than having a massive collection that you don't actually use. I use these, so that's good. I'm going to go through them <coughs> rather quickly. Here they are here. I didn't really know how to lay it out so you could kind of see them. They're sort of sitting in a line here. Uh, sort of most worn to least worn. Let's do it in that order. First up are my Gucci's. I have shown these to you come in the big golden case with the velour lining which has the interlocking GG logo in it which is gorgeous. These are them. Bam! They come with their little cloth which I showed you which is tiny. This is in my Gucci video I've shown you before. It's tiny. This is them. I picked these up from Maya probably a year ago. Gucci hardware there on the side. The gold framing on the side and they've got the fabulous gradiated lens which is uh, very Kardashian indeed. We love that. So I've shown you these before. I tend to rock these when I'm rocking gold. So today I'm doing silver jewellery so I would wear my silver sunnies. These are very gold, very bronzed, amazing, gorgeousness, fashion Easter diva. That is them. They are my Gucci's. I get ton of wear out of them. Are they very scratched? No, they're not, but they have been thrown everywhere, sometimes not in their case. Which, so, to see that they're in such good one piece, that's, that's nice to know. They're so loved. So they are my Gucci. Would these be my next most worn? Probably. Yeah, probably. Actually, no. My most, my next most worn are probably these little guys. I've shown these before in a video. These were from Equip or Diva here in Sydney. And they're just a little cheapy pair. They were $19 or something or $10. Little cheap tortoiseshell plastic pair. But I love them. They've got the chain hardware across the top there. It's kind of like the detail and they're these big square kind of ones. I love them because I can just throw them on and not particularly worry that I'm going to break them or anything or if they're just being thrown in my bag. So we love those. They are huge. I tend to like them because they make my face look small, not too fat. The more weight you lose, the bigger sunglasses are on you, which is good. It shows you that your diet's working. Don't promote eating disorders. Next up, that's a little crazy, is my Bulgari. These were um, a year ago or so, less. Gucci's were a year ago, these were less than a year ago at Christmas time, Boxing Day sales in the city, Bulgari, in the Elizabeth Street, David Jones. Oh, such a plush um, case. And inside, I've shown you these uh, before and what's in my bag, but they have a fabulous um, cleaning cloth, which I showed you, which is just like a bloody doona cover. Here are the sunglasses. These were a huge uh, Anna Wintour inspiration Jackie O pair of sunnies. I just love these when I saw them. They're so, you know, all black frames, you'd wear them to probably the parades in New York Fashion Week time. I think they are so amazing. I tend to hide under these a lot if I'm just, you know, having a darker day where I just I don't want to deal with anybody. I really just hide underneath these. I'll keep them on all the time. 
on during the day. Very Anna Wintour. Uh, but yep, they've got the amazing detail on the side with the Swarovski crystals and the Bulgari rings that actually spin around. Have had one problem where I've had to get them fixed. A coin is broken off, but I think it's because I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I dropped them. I'm not quite sure. And then all the Swarovskis in these hard rings that are glued on. So we love these very much and get lots of wear out of them. So that is the Bulgari pair. Pop them back in, taking care. Next up would be my Ray-Bans. I had always wanted these, mainly after seeing Twilight <coughs> Confessions. That's embarrassing. After watching Twilight, I loved these and when I was in Hong Kong, I ended up picking up a pair. They come in this plush case too with a nice little cleaning cloth, Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. And this is them. These are the Ray-Ban Wayfares. I wore these in one of my Louis Vuitton videos. I had a few questions on what they are. They are the Ray-Ban Wayfares. I think they came in this size and another size, but this is the uh, the smaller, more narrow frame. I think it came in a bigger one, maybe, but I'm not quite sure. So these are the Ray-Ban Wayfares. I like these. I feel uh, very trendy and very urban when I wear these. I'm a little bit, I'm not cool enough to wear these sometimes. These are more the Bondi, kind of Paddington, groovy people that are just awesome in their flannelette shirts who just go to the beach and stuff. I'm not that cool, but I got them anyway. <laughs> I got them anyway, just because I like them. Plus, I really love Edward from Twilight. That's a really horrible confession on YouTube. So there they are, the Ray-Ban Wayfares like them, get good use out of them. Tips with Ray-Bans is you need to get them tightened. If I hold them up here, that's actually where they sit. So that's very slanted out. So you need to get them tightened to probably sit about there so that they don't slide down on your face too much. But other than that, they're very wearable sunnies, durable, sorry, durable sunnies, and they don't necessarily bend and break too much, which is good. Pop them back in their pouch. These aren't sunnies, but I wanted to show you. I was obsessed with this whole, you know, nerdy look. Let's clean these, shall we? So I picked up a pair of these from God knows. I think I got them in Hong Kong somewhere. They're not even really a brand, but they're just those nerdy kind of glasses. Wear them with a top knot, visit the library. But I'm pretty sure they make me look cross-eyed, but that's okay. We like them. They're not sunnies. I wear them when I'm rocking my nerdy look. I can't pull off nerdy very well, but anyway. The Glassons, they just came in this little, um, you know, little pouchette. They didn't come in a box, which I showed you. The Lady Gaga kind of inspired. Uh -uh. We would very much call them Lady Gaga. I went to the orthodontist this morning and I'm pretty sure they put on something similar like that to protect me while I was having my dentistry done. That's a bit embarrassing. They are probably some sort of purpley, maroony color. It wouldn't be jet black. And then the lens is kind of a purpley tinge lens. So I like them. I wear them again when I'm just sort of throwing things in my bag. These are great for that as well. They were probably, yeah, 16 odd dollars, I think. Maybe $19. It's a new pair. Yay! Got these the other day when I was out shopping. But they come in, again, a little soft pouch like the other ones, but these weren't necessarily cheapies. Oh, they're so cute. They're called Sabre. S-A-B-R-E. That is the brand. They've got very cute detail on the side. They've got little like hardware down on the bottom and then they've got the sabre on the side. These like remind me so much of, I don't know, I guess probably John Lennon kind of glasses. They're very in right now. Stella McCartney did a pair for 400 odd dollars. I know that there had been all different types done. I like these. My brother, as Jarrah, 
decided to tell me I look like one of the three blind mice. That's pretty fair. I think I kind of do, but I like it anywho. So, we like these. They're my newest addition to my sunglasses collection. So they they are my sabre there, and they just go back in their little soft pouchette. And that, my dear friends, concludes my sunglasses collection. Although, these are actually my reading glasses. Mm -hmm. I wear glasses to do my paperwork. So I got this hard case when I was in Hong Kong, which I just love. So in it live my spectacles, which now you can um, imagine me doing my paperwork in my glasses. I probably should wear these a ton load more than I do. Hence, probably the problem with most people with reading glasses, they don't wear them enough. It is really true. I don't wear mine enough. I get sore eyes when I'm on the computer and I don't put them on when I really should. So, this is what I look like when I'm doing my business work. Glasses sometimes can come across as a novelty, but really when you actually have to wear them to see things, it's not a novelty. And uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a really big, uh, it's a really big adjustment in life when you have to wear glasses every day or for reading, because otherwise you're blind. Blind as a bat. That is a point right there. So thank you very much for joining me today and taking the time to watch this video of my sunglasses collection. It may grow, it may not. So I hope everybody is doing really great. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Peace.